हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी शोइंग यू ए एफ एफ कमांड बेसिकली विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस कमांड यू विल बी एबल टू जनरेट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ए सीरीज ऑफ इमेजेस सो दिस इज अ वेरी कॉमन टास्क का इज इफ यू वांट टू मेक ए वीडियो यूजिंग ए सीरीज ऑफ इमेजेस यू कैन बेसिकली यूज दिस एफ एफ कमांड सो आई हैव गिवन दिस कमांड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द वीडियो का सो इफ यू आर नॉट फेमिलियर विद दिस सॉफ्टवेयर एफ एफ it's a cross platform uh, solution for uh, uh, working with videos and audio you can install this software on your machine so if you install it want to check it if it is available inside your command prompt or not you can simply go to command prompt and basically here you just need to write here uh, whatever you can write let me just show you so here you need to write ffmpg so if it is available then it will be available like this so now command will work now let me show you the command here so right here guys uh, inside your directory you need to basically store all the images that will be uh, converted to a video you will see this is basically the format image 1 image 2 image 3 image 4 image 5 and uh, the sequencing needs to be important guys they need to be renamed like this you can even rename like this you can el eliminate this zero but this sequences is very much important so this uh, image names need to be in sequence image 1 image 2 image 3 and uh, you can has as many images as you want totally depends upon you image 4 and uh, you can just write a simple python script which will rename all your images like this image 1 image 2 image 3 so this re uh, sequencing needs to be important 1 2 3 4 5 and uh, you can read my blog post guys i have given this blog post in the description of the video you can i have written a complete step by step instruction explain this command in detail in my blog post so now let's get started so right inside my directory guys this is the directory i am just having this and uh, now let me write this command here step by step so you will write ffmpg and then basically you will need to provide here frame rate dash frame rate and this simply means guys uh, how many seconds you want each image to be seen inside the video so this simply means that you have five images so per image you want how many seconds uh, each image up should appear in the video so i want that uh, five seconds each image should appear so i will put here 1 divided by 5 so let's suppose you wanted 10 seconds you will replace here 10 so this is basically the frame rate and then you will provide dash i so this stands for input so here we will be giving our input images so this is basically stored uh, inside our uploads folder so you can see that guys uh, this is basically stored inside my uploads folder this is my root directory and this is basically stored inside the uploads directory all these images so that's why i am giving the path here which is uploads slash and then the rename is very much important guys img this is basically the static part of all these images img 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 and then basically the sequencing which is a percentage sign d so this basically means that guys which is 1 2 3 4 5 so this percentage d sign simply uh, uh, means this so that's why i was saying that you need to rename all your image files like this after this the extension which is png it can even be jpg depends upon you how you do this and then you need to apply some video filter guys so we will say dash vf vf in ffmpg stands for video filter we will be applying some filtering to it so we need to first of all scale all these images you can scale it by any width and height we will be scaling to 1280 and colon height so height we will say that 720 so this is basically the youtube video so you can basically give any width and height of accor accordingly and then we will basically uh, encode, uh, encode these uh, images so we will say dash c colon v so basically if you have graphical processing unit alongside with your cpu so this is really good you can even use basically the default encoder is lib x264 if you don't have a gpu uh, extensive gpu but i have extension gpu which is nvidia gpu 
so now to speed up the process i can basically use that h264 underscore n v e n c this is basically the encoder specifically for nvidia gpu on windows and uh, for amd also you can check out various encoders in fmpg so i will provide h264 underscore n v e n c so after this you will need to provide here pix underscore fmt this is also encoder so this is the base default encoder uh, yuv 420p and then you need to provide here this is basically the frame rate guys which is 30 frames per second and then we will output file name so we will say that result.mp4 this is basically all the parameters guys if i now run this command hopefully this will create the video file you will see now it has created result.mp4 file here so this consists of 24 seconds long file and you can see each image will stay for 5 seconds you will see and then it, it will go to the next image it doesn't contain uh, any sort of audio it just contains a series of images built using uh, exported to a video you can even basically open this this is inside your video player so this is the actual video which is created guys you will see a simple ffmpg command is required here to basically make these videos and now let me show you uh, if you download images from internet let's suppose any image you download here uh, let's suppose i say here mountains you can take any image of your choice here so save image as so let me just go to this image in my projects directory i go to here inside my uploads directory so i say download one and then i pick this one this one i pick I rename this to download2 I rename this to download3 this one to download4 so now we have four images guys so now we can modify this command here once again if I run this command so basically this will be download because download here if I show you uh, basically we have download 1.jpg, download 2.jpg, download 3.jpg, download 4.jpg. So we are just providing the format here and then the uh, percentage D sign. This stands for 1, 2, 3, 4. And then basically the extension here jpg. So I will rename this to. And this time I want the, each image to appear for 10 seconds. So I will replace here 10. So now if you just do that guys so now you will see now it will create this so it will con uh, consist of 39 seconds you will see that each image will appear for 10 seconds so this contains you will see that if I open this here so you will see that it has scaled it to 1280 into 720 so the quality of the image will be thoda, uh, uh, depreciated but still you can modify these commands accordingly i have given all the command in the description of the video so it's a very useful command because many of the times you want to convert your static images to a video series of images whenever you are creating some kind of slideshow for any sort of event out there so this is really good command for ffmpg makes it very much easy to convert static images to videos so you can see that you can take uh, unlimited number of images and do uh, using this command you can do that process and thank you very much guys for watching this video and i will be seeing you in the next video